Hi, I'm Chris Hoy and this is the car that I'll be racing with my teammates Andrea Pizzatola and Michael Muniman in the LMP2 category. It's a Ligier and it is powered by Nissan. It's a pretty sophisticated bit of kit, mainly made from carbon fibre, titanium, aluminium. Um, it's made as light as possible, as aerodynamic as possible, get as much downforce and as much grip as possible. The car is set up differently at Le Mans to other race circuits around the world because of the length of the straights here. Now, I'm not the average shaped uh, motor racing professional driver. I'm quite big compared to most of these guys and I really struggle to get into this cockpit. It's, it's really quite a tight fit. Um, the seats are obviously made for each driver. It's all about being as supported as possible. So through the fast corners, you want to have um, lateral support so you're not moving around inside the cockpit. We have tires for the, the dry, the slicks. You have cut slicks for the intermediate when there's maybe a little bit of damp. And then you have obviously the full, full wet tires for when there's proper rain. This is the steering wheel. Very simply, you have the traction control, traction gain, traction slip. Pit limiter, when you come in the pit lane, you push that button and it'll stop you going above 60 kilometers an hour. Flash button, you use a lot of that on this type of racing and endurance racing when you're passing slower cars in different categories. When you come up behind the cars, you flash your lights, not to be aggressive, but just to let them know that you're there. When you jump out the car, you press that little button, it clicks off and it allows you to get in and out of the car. So this is the front end of the car, it basically bolts straight on. If you have any impact or any damage during the race, this can be taken off and replaced quite easily. This is the wing and the back end with the lights on it. The wing here again, because we're at Le Mans, there's not quite as much downforce, you don't have quite a, as big a rake or what we call a gurney flap at the back here, a little ridge on the end of the wing and that's taken off just to give you a little bit less drag and a little bit more straight line speed. The, uh, the hole on top of the, the bodywork here as opposed to having slats is to try and reduce this air pressure differential which could potentially cause a, a flip if the car happened to raise up when it hit a bump. And even this, this central fin here, dorsal fin on the bodywork here, if the car happens to go sideways in an accident, it actually prevent, it acts like a sail and prevents the car, or should prevent the car from barrel rolling and flipping. Um, and we've seen that happen a few times where the fin has actually saved the car and stopped it from flipping many times. So that's a very quick tour of the Ligier Nissan powered LMP2 car that we're racing with Algarve Pro number 25 on a very special circuit. And I can't wait to get out in it.